Next week on Neighbors, with the truth about Eden's identity revealed during Flashback Week, the residents of Ramsey Street prepare to track him down. With the truth about what happened in Arinsboro over the last two years out in the open, the residents of Number 32 decide to take matters into their own hands this week. The drama kicks off in Monday's episode when Reese, Misha Barton, and Byron, Xavier Molino, return to Ramsey Street, following their attempts to track down Reese's younger sister Krista, Miela Davis, who has been missing for two years. They are aware that Krista was friends with Holly, Lucinda Armstrong Hall, after finding a photo of them with Eden, Costa D'Angelo, Reese has no idea of the revelations of Melanie, Lucinda Pearson, and Paul, Steph and Dennis. Once back in Erinsboro, Reese tracks Holly down and learns the shocking truth, Krista was killed in a freak accident a year ago. Devastated, Reese retreats to her room where she makes the dreaded phone call to Conrad to inform him of the news that neither of them wanted, nor were expecting, to receive. Reese puts her head together with Byron, Holly, Mackenzie, Georgie Stone, and Oz, Shiv Polycar, Eden's modus operandi is uncovered. There is something. Sometimes he used to find places for us to crash through executive auctions, Holly remembered, as Oz saw sense in the suggestion, pointing out that those types of properties tend to be empty for a while. The last place they found him was a deceased estate, and as Mac points out, he may not go back there, but he might go to another estate. They find a half dozen and Holly suggests they begin tracking them down. As all five agree, Holly suggests they divide and conquer, and that way they will be able to search quicker. Reese agrees. With the list split down the middle, Reese, Byron and Mackenzie set out in car one and Holly and Oz in car two. As the first few come up clear, Reese's emotions begin to get in the way. All she wants is to know where Krista is, or even if she has a grave sight, just so she and her father can have closure. Whilst Oz takes the collected approach of phoning the police to let them know, Holly decides to take matters into her own hands and heads up to take a look herself. When she approaches the house, her suspicions are confirmed, it's Eden's van. But there's an even bigger shock around the corner as she catches a glimpse of Eden through the window in the back door. Realizing his cover has been blown and he's been uncovered, Eden rushes for the door, bypassing Holly to get in his van. His efforts are thwarted as Holly picks up a metal garden stake and shows Eden that she means business as the whirring of police sirens descends on the property. Full he'll be able to escape, Eden drives towards the street, only to find that Oz has blocked the driveway with his car. As the police arrive, they surround Eden and he is forced to capitulate. Unfortunately for the pair, they're in for a grilling from Andrew, Lloyd Will, who sprays them for not leaving the work to the police. And whilst Eden has been taken into custody, they are no closer to finding Krista's body. Where has Eden done with her and will Reese, and those who loved Kelly, get the closure they so desperately need? So next week, Neighbors begins a new Nicolette and Paul mystery. With the news surrounding David, Takaya Honda, Aaron, Matt Wilson, and Nicolette's, Hannah Monsoon, departure revealed. There's a question about whether they will stay in town now they don't have anything to hide. Whilst Aaron and Nicolette entertain the idea, David doesn't want anything further to do with Paul, the man he will no longer call his father. Paul asks Nicolette if Jane knows the other reason she decided to leave Kiri. Nicolette said them supporting one another would be in our mutual interests as they share a drink.